Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to the hippie and green alternative of the favorites of the month. I don't have a lot of products again this time, but the things I do have I really want to share with you this month. So let's begin with the first very sexy part. It is the Rainzy. And I can't really show you in a normal way. So as you can see, it's a 1C, but then it's completely weatherproof. Okay. What I like so much about it is that it's actually designed in Amsterdam, but it's created by expats and it's responsibly crafted in China. So they have a fair label and everything. They have a good story, but it's also just a very cool design. It's windproof, it's weatherproof, it's packable and it's breathable. And I also just love their whole mindset because they actually don't believe in crappy weather, they only believe in crappy clothes. And when I saw this thing, I was just like, oh my God, I'm Dutch, why didn't I think of this? How is that possible? Why didn't any Dutch person in the Netherlands think of this? <laughs> and then I actually think of a Zen Buddhism wisdom. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities and in the expert's mind, there are few. So of course, people who are completely new to the Netherlands see us struggling with the weather and we just do it. And they're just like, what the f They're always on their bikes, even during a thunderstorm or when it's completely raining like crazy, but we just do it. And this is also how the creators see it. To become Dutch, you simply have to embrace the rain. I don't feel 100% Dutch. I feel like a world citizen, so I don't want to embrace the rain, but I really, really like their mindset and I really can learn from it as well. So the way that they see it actually is that it's sort of a metaphor with how we deal with our lives. And I just, I love that idea behind it. Of course, it's just 100% super, super handy and you can just wear it over your clothes and also your jacket and everything. Just so you know, I have the Hagelslag version. Hagelslag is, how can I explain Hagelslag? <laughs> Hagelslag is something that you put on your bread, but it's basically just 100% chocolate. And especially children get it on their bread. And when expats live here and children get Hagelslag, they're just like, what the hell? Do you get a chocolate bar on your bread? This is the Hagelslag pattern. And it is also reflective. So it's actually really cool. You can't see that properly now, but the design is way cooler in the evenings as well. So it's also really safe. What is also really nice about it actually is that in the left pocket, if I just open this, the whole Rainzy fits in this bag. There you go. How awesome is that? So it's super, super handy, packable, fair made. Everything is cool about this brand. I will put their info down below. All right, then the second favorite of the month is the Rhino Horn. <laughs> Can you imagine being this lady? Oh, uh, poor her. I hope she got a lot of money for it. Some of my best friends actually recommended this for a long time already. And this is their sort of holy grail when they have a cold. Apparently it can also help when you have sinusitis or a dust allergy or something like that. At least when it's sort of stuck over here, you know? It's completely natural and effective. And basically it's true. I will show you. So you only have two things. It looks so weird. And it's such a weird thing in general. This is it. <laughs> and then you have this as well. So you just put some kitchen salt in this, you pour it in there, you put water in this part, warm water of course, and then it's basically just a matter of putting it in your nose like this and then breathing in. Now it's a matter of how you stand because if you do like, okay, this just, ugh, I can't promote this in a way that I, I, I'm still satisfied with how I look, but okay. So you do it like this. If you stand like this, of course you're doing it wrong because when you breathe in, the water will just basically get in your throat. So you have to stand like this all the time. It will also become clear when you just read the user instruction. But in general, when I used this for only one day, the cold was gone within a few hours. And believe me, I struggle with a lot of colds and this was just like, oh, mind blowing. When I told my mother actually about this product, she said, don't use these kinds of products like longer than a week when you're really sick, because apparently it's not so healthy as well to keep using salt for a longer period of time. But for now, for my sort of minor cold, it really helped and it's just like all natural. It's just like such a weird thing. And I just feel so sorry for her. <laughs> 
So another favorite of the month is a video. As you guys know, probably, I like to make videos about living a happy and healthy life. If you wanna have like your daily dose of inspiration or wisdom, go and watch Ted every single day. I basically just have one video that I wanna recommend to you today and it is called What Makes a Good Life? And of course, a lot of people think it's like money or fame, especially when you're younger, you tend to think that somehow. In general, this research is super interesting because it's a 75 year old study and this is just already super rare in general of course basically the psychiatrist Robert Waldinger shares three important lessons with us and the core of these lessons is actually that the main thing that keeps us happy and healthy is having good relationships they don't only protect our bodies they actually do protect our brains as well loneliness can actually seriously kill us basically it's just such a beautiful reminder of don't underestimate what you have around you especially I personally think that when you look at youtubers for instance when you look on Instagram it's mainly a lot about traveling buying products but like the little things in life just actually really the little things relationships family time and everything is not shown so often I personally think that this video is just such a sweet reminder of respecting what you have with the relationships that you have with your family and friends really seeing sort of the quality that you have with them it is about the little things in these matters Matters. but in the long run this will create a happy and healthy life as well I just really want to recommend this video I already said too much about it but the director of the study will tell you everything about it and it's just yeah it's just a gentle and nice reminder of what is actually important in life all right and then actually another video is called life lessons from 100 year olds and it is made by life hunters and it's just like a very small beautifully made documentary in general I think that if you want to learn how to live a happy happy and healthy life you should always listen to the elderly because they already led life again this is in line with the previous video as well but it's also just like general life wisdom of three very old people and it's just so incredibly sweet I don't want to say too much about it just one quote though I don't have many failures if I'm making a cake and it fails it becomes a pudding and then my last favorites are my musical favorites again. I really loved all your comments on the musical favorites that I shared with you last time. And therefore I thought I would just share some of my musical favorites with you every month. So let's begin with an old school one. I've seen that some of my viewers are quite young. So I hope you know Oasis. And somehow this month I listened to Champagne Supernova quite a lot. Little rewind to the now. This is such a cool song. That's all I can say about it. It's just a cool song. I want to dance to this song. All right, then I have a musical favorite which is quite different than the others. It's actually classical music and it's called You May Yee's Theme. It's actually from a movie called In the Mood for Love and my dad is a big fan of both the movie and this song in particular and we listened to it actually quite a lot in South Africa when we were traveling together and now somehow this month I listen to it quite a lot again. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. That's all I can say about it. I can't move with this song, you just have to listen. Such a short song also, only two and a half minutes. I'm sort of missing a part after it. If you don't like classical music, I'm sorry. Then I have something completely different coming up right now. First one is called Be Mine by Ovenbach. Apparently it's like a DJ duo from Paris. <laughs> Awesome song. Shall I play you the long version? Okay, I will just put the radio version now, but I actually listen to the long version every time because I think the shorter version is too short. But it's the DJ called Midland. The song is called Final Credits. I listened to this song when it was just like an ordinary Monday morning. So like the Monday morning blues. And then all of a sudden I had like the Friday night vibe. <laughs> Yeah, 
and then actually the extended version of course continues after this and that's like the nice part you know i now see some of my favorites and although it doesn't help for you i just want to share them with you today look how pretty i believe you call these buttercups in english and they're still so stunning i think i already have them in my home now for two weeks good flower shop in amsterdam i guess so pretty all right guys so that was it for my february favorites it was a little bit of a shorter month of course so maybe that's why i also didn't have so many things but i do hope that the things that i did share were at least of a little bit of value for you i hope you liked watching this video and i really hope to see you in the next one bye Oh, 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 oh,